SK File presents Fun with Fodder, Episode 6, first one of the new year, 2018. Follow up on the airlock doors in Episode 5. Here I'm going to talk about fodder you can use to make airlock door release handles. Also hinges and let's get at it. So here's an example of using plastic hangers. I have two hangers here that I cut the ends off and took of course the middle hanger out, mounted them symmetrically across from one another and then in the middle I put another piece from a plastic hanger a really alien looking handle and then the little piece here is from a bag of fodder this is the window for your uh, VCR tapes the ones you buy to self record and I hit a bunch of those and old ones and punch those windows out you need your bag of different size caps like I said, some plastic hangers. Here's some pieces after I cut various parts out. Uh, you do have to be moderately skilled with a, a rotary tool <clears throat> and care be careful. That's this hot plastic you're cutting. So, um, let me show you some examples. First, the recessed kind. Here are some condiment uh, containers, plastic containers from McDonald's, had ranch dressing probably in them. Save those and you can indent those. Just drill a, an even hole and to mount any kind of tubular thing, a straw. I find pen parts, doll rods and so on. It's another one, not quite as elaborate. really like the recessed look. And here's another recessed one with some kind of container from I'm not sure what, but it's a cool looking one. I just mounted these on cards to give you some idea what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> so you have a lot of circular ones. There's a recessed circular one that's actually falling out of the card. Two caps there. It's a simple one. This one I, I used a piece of a watch band to make it look more alien. This one has a stand from a micro machine. Uh, I think it was a Star Trek ship and then I put another cylindrical thing over it. Here's, an, here's a piece of uh, the plastic hanger. And uh, this part like an access panel you could mount. Here's another similar one. Uh, here I used it on top of a cap. So it's like a two-handed handle. Uh, this one here, the middle part is something from a printer or something. It's a simple one. Again, another piece from a hanger. All these type of things are covers for a razor blade. Here's one with some mounted on top. Blocking my own light here. Another one. Some kind of metal thing I put in the middle. So the main thing is, like I said, something that looks like you can turn to release the uh, mechanism. Uh, this one I like in particular, this is the Advil container top because it has the directions there to turn it so you would you would use this and go that way so as far as hinges here again from hangers you cut off the little clip things there's one kind here's another one still a third one then there's these clips which I bent the part over that had the metal rod through you could use those so, this is just, of course, to stimulate your imagination. 
uh, here I did a recessed one it had a rusty piece of metal in the middle there so I, I rested it up give it a worn dilapidated look so hopefully uh, these give you some idea on, on how to go about using fodder to make airlock door release handles. So I hope you liked it and Happy New Year. I'm off.